Well, hello, ethereal beings and dubious creatures. My name is Item Equipped, and today we are continuing our playthrough of Doki Doki Literature Club. We're on episode nine. I'm very scared. <laughs> I'm just gonna start the game. I'm just gonna start the game. Yeah. So I've kind of decided that I think I want to just keep going with Yuri. I want to keep going with Yuri, even though she's terrifying me. And then maybe I'll consider doing a Natsuki playthrough. Maybe. <laughs> So let's go. I clicked on Canny and Monica popped up. Did you see that? That was Monica. Can I pick Monica? <gasps> Can I pick Monica? What about Jumpy? No, um, hopeless. No, Graveyard. Um, memories? Oh no, I'm messing this up. I think Vertigo? What? Does it not matter? Does it not matter what I pick? I feel like, what's going on? What's going on? Okay. Um, determination. Disoriented. Tenacious. Question. Unending. Mm, I'm nervous. Unrestrained. Wait, can I get Monica? Can I get Monica? Oh, what's going on? What's this? That's a... How many have I picked? Electricity. Doki doki. <laughs> Uh, let's see, um, disaster, extreme, vivacious, extraordinary, misfortune, agonizing. Okay. That was interesting. They were like, <sighs> sorry, we usually start with Monica <laughs> on the screen, but there were a lot of them that were like kind of making like a little Monica up here, which is kind of cool. That's kind of cool. It was only like, I think it was only uncanny and like unending or something, which I don't really like that those were the words. I don't like that those are the ones that popped up for her, but all right, all right, okay. Hi item, I've been waiting for you. Are you ready to continue reading? I brought my best tea today. Monica, I told you not to. Uh, is she really late again? Inconsiderate as usual, Natsuki. Excuse me, must you always interrupt my conversations with your incessant yelling? What are you talking about? You say that like I do it on a regular basis or something. I wish someone paying attention, okay? I'm sorry. Seriously, what's gotten into you lately? Me? N nothing Is it really that bad? See, it is something. I'll get over it. It's, it's not even anything noteworthy. <laughs> I almost did not ski there. So I'm feeling a little on edge lately. Uh, anyway, we don't need to talk about it. Well, I just felt like I need to bring it up. It's not like I really care or anything. Oh man, I'm the last one here again. Well, I don't just walked in too. Were you practicing piano again? Yeah. <laughs> you must have a lot of determination, starting this club and still trying to make time for piano. Well, maybe not determination, but I guess passion. It motivates me to work hard for the festival and, um, uh, right, I forgot um, about that Natsuki. We were all talking yesterday and, well, wait, Natsuki. Did I misread something? I'm not sure. Well, we decided that we would like to support the festival as well. However, I understand how you feel about not wanting the club to change. I think we all kind of feel that way. So as long as we're all working together, this club will never become something we don't, don't want. Um, also, if you help us out with the festival, then I'll buy you a new manga. Oh, now she's interested. <laughs> Sorry, the last part was really funny. Look, I did some thinking about it yesterday. I was a little more hostile than I meant to be. I guess I felt really threatened or something. But I know this is something we're doing together. Another new member couldn't hurt as long as they're cool. And I guess another girl will be nice this time. But more importantly, I'd hate to see the event suck just because I chose to back out. I'm a pro, you know, so I'm gonna help too. And we'll make sure it's done right. Thank goodness. Isn't that great, Monica? Monica? Uh... Yeah, that's wonderful. It wouldn't be the same without you, Natsuki. Anyway, item, what do you want to do today? I was thinking we could... We already have plans today. I'm sorry, did... I didn't get to choose... Um, what do you mean, Yuri? Yuri, what do you mean we already have plans today? Like, you have plans with me? You did not ask if I wanted... She didn't care about my feelings in this. What if I want to hang out with Monica? <sighs> Is that so, Yuri? That's correct. Item is already engaged in a novel that we're reading together. I don't like the word engaged there. <laughs> Aren't you glad I've gotten him into literature, Monica? I, I suppose. I was just, 
Actually, it doesn't matter. It really doesn't. You guys can do whatever you want. Yes. Oh, hmm. What was that? Um, thank you for understanding, Monica. Oh, <laughs> Monica, come back. I don't want to. Actually, I have a request. Do you mind if I make some tea first? I actually kind of do mind after yesterday, Yuri. I do kind of mind. No, we mind. We mi main character, please, we mind. <laughs> please. Not at all. Thanks very much. If there's one thing that can make my reading time here any better, it's a nice cup of tea. Not to mention for yourself as well. Yuri stands up and makes her way to the closet. I follow and watch as she retrieves a small water pitcher from the shelf. The kind of the filter inside. Not this again. Can you hold this for a second? Sure. Mary hands me the water pitcher and also fetches an electric kettle. I'm going to plug this in at the teacher's desk and then I'll go get some water. She walks past me and sets the kettle down on the teacher's desk. I simply watch her movements. To my surprise, the way she moves really contrasts her speaking mannerisms. Especially because of her long legs. Yes, we understand. We did this yesterday. Okay, may I have the water pitcher? Thanks, I'll be right back. Oh, uh, I might as well walk with you. <laughs> That's okay. You stay here. It won't take long. Pitcher in hand, Yuri hurries out of the classroom. Uh, did Yuri leave you again? No, it's not like that this time. She's just filling up the water pitcher to make tea. Oh, okay. Sorry for misunderstanding. But we did this yesterday. We did this yesterday. Why is it doing this again? Ten minutes passed. Yuri said it wouldn't take so long. Something holding her up? I'm bored just waiting here, so I decided to go look for her. Please don't. We already did this yesterday. We literally already did this yesterday. <laughs> it's doing like the very... F it's like quiet. I can't tell. I don't know. Let's see. The most logical place for Yuri to be would be near the... I don't want to go near Lenar's water fountain. I don't go near it. I'm just... What's gonna happen today? Is it gonna happen again? Start heading down the hallway. <sighs> What's that noise? It's coming from around the corner. It sounds like breathing. <sighs> A sharp inhale, like someone sucking the air. Yep, see, I know what to do this time. Are they in pain? I reach the corner and peer around it. Yuri? Yeah. Okay, so it's rewinding again. Oh. <laughs> okay. Um, wait. How did I? Sorry, I just had a really weird deja vu. Yeah, me too. Me too, Yuri. It was a very weird deja vu. Okay. <laughs> Alright. Uh, let's see. This hasn't happened before or anything, right? My head has been a little fuzzy lately. I hope it hasn't really been showing or anything. I would hate for you to think I'm weird after we just started spending time together. I mean, everyone has a few unusual things about them. Please don't zoom in again. But expressing those things so soon after meeting someone is usually seen as inappropriate or unlikable. At least that's what I've discovered. When I was a bit younger, I think I would come to rely strongly on getting a little too intense. It made people not want to be around me. So I started hating those things about myself. My obsession with certain hobbies, and the way I can't control myself when I get too excited about something. So I eventually stopped trying to talk to people. If nobody could ever like me for the things that matter most to me, then it's just easier if I close myself off. But recently, something's been wrong. I don't know what it is, but every time we come to the club, my heart starts to go crazy. It's like it's going to rip out of my chest. It overwhelms me with energy and emotions that I can't let out. It's been making me do weird things. I don't know why it's happening. Item. Is it just me or has Monica been acting a little off lately? She's always been a sweetheart since I joined the club. But recently, I've been feeling something sharp whenever she's around. I'm not crazy, right? Oh. Please tell me I'm not. I couldn't say anything before because she's always listening. But finally, we're alone. Can we just stay here for a while? Yeah. I just want to stay here. I don't. It's just the two of us. We can stay here until the club ends. And then we'll have the club room all to ourselves. Nobody to interfere with our reading time. Nobody make me feel like stabbing myself in the throat. <laughs> that was a joke. <laughs> just a joke. I do like knives, though. It sounds strange, but you would understand if you've never seen how beautiful they can be. Is that Monica? I have an idea. 
Why don't you come to my house sometime? I can show you my collection. I've gotten them from all various artisans. I make sure to give them all their fair share of use. I don't want them to get lonely or anything. Nobody deserves to be lonely. Nobody. And that's why I'm so happy you joined the literature club item. And now we don't have to be lonely anymore because we have each other every day. That's all we need. You know what? Let's quit the literature club. There's no need for us to be around Monica's slimy tongue anymore. Not to mention that other pathetic child. We can just walk home together after day, every day after school and read together, eat together, sleep together. Doesn't this sound perfect? It's everything we could ever want. Isn't that why you joined the club in the first place? It's almost like it was fate. Fate that we'd meet each other, and now we've met the happy ending that I've been patiently waiting for years. Will you do that with me, Item? Well... I couldn't read that very well, Monica. Alright, but Monica, I think, was trying to save me again. Alright! <laughs> Alright, uh, so who should we show our poem to first? <laughs> Natsuki seems the safest right now. Hi, Natsuki, what's up? Hey, Natsuki. <laughs> Natsuki's chill. She's fine. Nothing wrong with her. I'd love to do this again with Natsuki, and she's totally gonna be normal and fine and chill and great, right? And nothing weird's gonna happen. Mm hmm. I've made the wrong decisions this whole time. This whole time I've made the wrong decisions. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> this one's alright. Alright. Yeah, it's at least better than yesterday's. I still can't really tell how much you care about writing, but either way, you're doing all right. You may not really spending time with anyone but Yuri. It's only it's nice to have activities that we all participate in. So you want to keep working hard. I mean, I know I'm not president or vice president or anything, but doesn't mean you can't let me down, okay? Or that you can let me down, okay? So at least read mine for now, too. But just to be clear, this poem means a lot to me, so read it carefully, okay? Okay, so... Last time on this day, they wrote about the ocean, but this time it's not about the ocean. And this does not look like a poem. All right, I'm a little interested. I don't know how else to bring this up, but there's been something kind of, or there's something I've been kind of worried about. Yuri's been acting kind of strange lately. You've only been here a few days, so you may not know what I mean, but she's not normally like this. She's always been quiet and polite and attentive, things like that. Okay, this is really embarrassing, but I'm forcing myself to suck it up. The truth is, I'm really worried about her, but if I try talking to her, she'll just get mad at me again. I don't know what to do. I think you're the only person that she'll listen to. I don't know why, but please try to do something. Maybe you convince her to talk like talk to a therapist. I've always wanted to try being friends with her, or friends with Yuri, and it really hurts me to see this happening. I know I'm gonna hate myself later for admitting that, but right now I don't care. I just feel so helpless. So please, see if you can do something to help. I don't want anything bad to happen. I'll make you cupcakes if I have to. Just please try to do something. As for Monica, I don't know why, but she's been really dismissive about this. It's like she just wants us to ignore it. So I'm mad at her right now. And that's why I'm coming to you about this. Don't let her know I wrote this. Just pretend like I gave you a really good poem, okay? I'm counting on you. Thanks for reading. Yeah, okay, Natsuki's the only one that, like, I think I trust. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I don't trust... I don't trust Mon Monica, and I don't trust Yuri at all. At all, at all. But Natsuki seems fine. All right, Natsuki, I got you. I won't let you down. I'm count. I you're counting on me. I got you. It was a really good poem. I changed my mind. No, it was a great poem, Natsuki. Ignore everything you just read. No, it was. It was just a really cool poem. There's no point in trying to do anything. It's Yuri's own fault that she's so unlikable. Can you hear me, Item? If you would just spend more time with Monica, and all these problems would go away. I literally can't. Yuri and I are too messed up for someone as wonderful as you. What's wrong with you, Natsuki? There's nothing wrong with you. Just think of Monica from now on. Just Monica. Just Monica. Just Monica. Just Monica. So I don't get to show Yuri my poem? Just Monica. Okay. Just Monica. Huh? Kind of think I should show my poem to Monica next. I don't know. Get a little inkling, a little suspicion that maybe I should show my poem to Monica. Hi, Monica. Don't say I didn't warn you, item. No poem? No fun poem? To Monica, I picked you. What do you mean? <laughs> I picked you, though. <laughs> this is a whole Howard kind of kind of day. <laughs> I don't want to show it to Yuri, though. I really don't want to show it to Yuri. Okay. Hi, Yuri. Oh, no. Finally. <laughs> 
Yuri holds my poem to her face and takes a deep breath. I love it. I love everything about it. Item, I want to take this home. Will you let me keep it? Please? Sure, I don't care. <laughs> You're too nice to me, Item. I've never met anyone as nice as you. I could die. N not really, but I just don't know how to describe it. It's okay to be feeling this way, right? It's not bad, right? Yuri holds my poem to her chest. I'm gonna take this home with me and keep it in my room. I hope it makes you feel good when you think about me having it. I'll take good care of it. I'll even touch myself while reading it over and over. You know, you could keep that to yourself. I didn't need to know about it. I give myself paper cuts so your skin oil enters my bloodstream. Please don't. <laughs> Please don't. You can have my poem too. Besides, after you read it, I know you're gonna really wanna keep it. Here, take it. I can't wait any longer. Hurry, read it. Oh, it's beautiful. Oh, this is so romantic. Is this a love poem? You even gave me some of your blood and- I hope that's not urine. Hi! Hi! Do you like it? I wrote it for you! Oh my god. In case I couldn't tell, the poem's about- <laughs> More importantly, I've endowed it with my scent. See, aren't I the most thoughtful person in the club? Please tell me that wasn't your urine. Yuri? <laughs> Please tell me that wasn't your urine. <laughs> I- I think I'm gonna vomit. I hope she's okay. What do you mean yes or no? No! No! <laughs> Whatever the option- no! I get a poem anyways. I think it was like, do you want to see a secret poem? I said no. Okay, a joke. A man walked into a club. In the club, there was a girl who liked him very much. They spent some time together, and then she liked him even more. One day, the girl realized she was in love with him. Before a disaster could happen, a third party intervened with her programming. Suddenly, the girl hated herself for being in love. This contradiction caused the script to derail. The universe started to collapse, but she killed herself just in time. What? <gasps> no! Are you talking about Sayori? No! Why would you do that? I loved Sayori. Okay, I'll keep going. I'll keep going. I'm like, when can I stop? <laughs> I'm showing everyone my poem, right? It's the end of the day, right? <laughs> okay. Okay, everyone. It's time to figure out the festival pre preparations. Let's hurry and get this over with. Jeez, why is the mood so weird today? Look, even Yuri isn't immune to it. Ugh. Stagnating air is common foreshadowing that something terrible is about to happen. Yeah, uh, can I just save? Can I just... <laughs> Look, can we just get this done? I'm gonna be printing and assembling all the poetry pamphlets. Natsuki, I was thinking. I wanna make cupcakes. Yeah, that, <laughs> glad we're on the same page. Yuri, you can, well, it doesn't matter. Do whatever you want, as long as you think it'll help. Monica, I'm not useless, you know. I know that. I already know what I'd like to do. We can't run a successful poetry event without having all the right atmosphere for the occasion. So I'm gonna make decorations and set up some nice mood lighting. There, see, that's a great idea. And that gives us all something to do. Eh? Uh, what about Item? Item is going to help me. Wait, you? You have the easiest job, Monica. Sorry, but that's just how it is. Like hell it is. What are you trying to pull? I agree with Natsuki. Not only is your work already most suitable for one person, my task is laborious enough to benefit from an extra pair of hands. Mine too. What? Your cupcakes? Please. Like you would fucking know. All you care about is not dragging Item around with you and your stupid books. You and Monica. Hey, I didn't even do anything. Okay, then why not let Item decide who to help instead of abusing your power? I'm not abusing my power. Yes, you are, Monica. Just let Item make the choice, okay? Okay, fine, fine. Jeez, Item, I know how fed you are up with these two by now. Can we just... Natsuki, shut your fucking mouth and let him decide for himself. You shut your mouth! Jesus Christ, this is never going to end. Just make the choice, okay? Natsuki seems like the one with the most saneness going on. I think I might go with Natsuki. Yep. Oh. I'm sorry, what the f what the <laughs> Please, I just want to pick Natsuki! No, I'm afraid of clicking and accidentally hitting Yuri. <sighs> Monica, alright. Yay, you picked me! <laughs> Yeah, I picked you. You're right. That was all me. That was entirely me. Entirely my decision. Mm -hmm. 
We can meet at your house this weekend. I promise it'll be fun. Is Sunday okay with you? Are you fucking kidding me? This isn't fair at all. It is fair, Natsuki. It's what he chose. No, it's not fair. Giving us all the work and then taking item for yourself? What a shameful thing to do. Yuri, I can't didn't even give you any work. You decided it for yourself. You're being a little unreasonable here. I'm being unreasonable? Oh no. <laughs> Monica, I can't believe how delusional and self-important you are. Pulling item away from me every single time you're not included in something. Are you jealous? Crazy? Or maybe you just hate yourself so much you take it out on others? Here's a suggestion. Have you considered killing yourself? It would be beneficial for your mental health. Yuri, you're scaring me a little... Natsuki, let's just go. I don't think she wants us around right now. See, that wasn't very hard. All I want to do is spend some time with him. Is that so much to ask? <laughs> Yuri follows Monica and Natsuki to the door. Hey, item. Yuri is really something, isn't she? Monica giggles as Yuri pushes her out the door. <laughs> Come back. Come back. I don't like those sounds. It's like bad ASMR. Finally. Finally. This is all I really wanted. Item, there's no need to spend the weekend with Monica. Don't listen to her. Just come to my house instead, the whole day with just the two of us. Doesn't that sound wonderful? <laughs> wow, there's really something wrong with me, isn't there? But you know what? I don't care anymore. I've never felt this good in my whole life. Just being with you is a far greater pleasure than anything I could imagine. I'm addicted to you. Feels like I'm gonna die if I'm not breathing the same air as you. Doesn't it feel nice to have someone care about you so much? To have someone who wants to revolve their entire life around you? But if it feels so good, then why does it feel more and more like something horrible is going to happen? <laughs> also, what are these sounds? What is this? Is that moaning? <laughs> Maybe that's why I tried stopping myself at first. But the feeling is so strong now. I don't care anymore, Item. I have to tell you. I'm I'm madly in love with you. It feels like every inch of my body, every drop of blood in me is screaming your name. I don't care what the consequences are anymore. I don't care if Monica's listening. Please, Item, just know how much I love you. I love you so much that I even touch myself with the pen I stole from you. All right, again, you can keep it to yourself. You can just keep, I don't need to know about this. I really don't need, this is private. This is private, Yuri. I just want to pull your skin open and crawl inside of you. Please don't. Did I not make a joke? Oh my god, I feel like in like episode three or four or something, I was like, she's gonna peel my skin and wear it like a coat. <laughs> she's lulling me into a false insecurity and then she's gonna peel my skin off and wear it like a coat. <laughs> I want you all to myself and I will be only yours. Doesn't that sound perfect? Tell me, item. Tell me you want to be my lover. Do you accept my confession? I think she's gonna kill me if I say yes, and I think she's gonna kill me if I say no. <laughs> I think she's gonna kill me. <laughs> Cause yes, she's she loves knives. Yes, she stabs me. No, she stabs me. But no sounds sc scarier? <laughs> I don't know what's scarier. I'll just say yes. <laughs> yeah. All right. All right. Okay. So I said stab me. I didn't know stab. Okay. So I think no stab me. Yes, stab her. Okay. Okay. All right. Well, that solves my problem. Okay. Well, she's gone. I'm gonna get jump scared. <laughs> as long as I don't get jump scared, this is peaceful. At least I feel a little bit safer. Yeah, that's very cool, Yuri. You got some nice things to say. This is a very lovely conversation we're having. Having a very good time. <laughs> Why did she stab herself though? That was so uncalled for. I don't think clicking is doing anything. Do I have to click skip? <laughs> I've never clicked skip before, I don't think. Oh. Oh. Oh.
I'm afraid of like skipping too far. How does skip work? Does it like just keep going? Okay, so it's been a whole night. Now it's the next day. Is it being another night? How many, how many, how long are we gonna sit here with her dead body? Can we just go? Ooh. Ooh, the, oh, the blood's getting dark. Oh, I don't like how fast this is going. I think this is probably what I'm supposed to do, but I don't like it. Why are we, why did we stay for like three old days or something? Was that a Friday? Was that the week? Oh, because it was the weekend and then the festival, right? Mm, we stayed her with her the whole weekend? All right, it's festival time. Wow, you got here before me. I thought it was pretty. Ah! Ah! <laughs> oh, she's throwing up. Ew. <gasps> Natsuki runs away. I'm here. Item, did something happen? Natsuki just ran past me. Oh. Oh. <laughs> well, that's a shame. Wait, were you here the entire weekend, Item? Oh, jeez. I didn't realize the script was broken that badly. I'm super sorry. Monica, did you code this game? <laughs> Monica, can you write better scripts, please? I don't want to get stuck here. If, if you're the coder of this game, Monica, can you please not? Can you not? It must have been pretty boring. I'll make it up to you, okay? Just give me a sec. Oh, so maybe I should have done that. <laughs> oh, and Natsuki. I'm almost done. I just want to have a cupcake real quick. Monica lifts the foil from tray and takes a cupcake. Seriously, these are the best. I really just want to have one since last time I'll ever get the chance to. You know, before they stop existing and everything. But anyway, I really shouldn't be making you wait any longer. Just bear with me, okay? This should only take a second. Alright. 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 Okay. Because, <laughs> okay, yesterday. Yesterday, the, she gave us the poem that said to delete her. Like, I think we were supposed to delete Yuri. Maybe I should have tried. Maybe I should have tried to delete Yuri's character file. Uh, can you hear me? Is it working? Oh. Hey, Monica. Yay, there you are. Hi again, item. Um, welcome to the literature club. Where are we, Monica? Are we in space? Is this the same classroom? It doesn't look the same anymore. Of course, we already know each other because we were in the same class last year and, um... <laughs> You know, I guess we can just skip over that stuff at this point. After all, I'm not even talking to that person anymore, am I? That's you in the game, whatever you want to call him. I'm talking to you, item. Now that I think about it, I don't really know anything about the real you. In fact, I don't even know if you're a boy or a girl. Well, I guess it doesn't really matter. Wait, you do know I'm aware that this is all a game, right? Could it be possible that you didn't know that? That's a bit of a suspicion. Bit of a suspicion, Monica. You gave a lot of hints. <laughs> that doesn't make much sense. I even told you right on the game's download page, didn't I? She is the developer of the game! I didn't look at the download page. Does it say on Steam? <laughs> what? I want to, like, go back and check Steam now. Okay. Man, if only you had paid a little more attention, this would have been a little bit less awkward, you know? Well, anyway. Now that that's out of the way, I guess I owe you an explanation. About the whole thing with Yuri, well, I kind of started to mess with her and I guess it just drove her to kill herself. <laughs> I'm sorry you had to see that though. Also, the same thing happened with Sayori. Gosh, it's been a while since you've heard that name now, hasn't it? Yeah, it's because she doesn't exist anymore. Nobody does. I deleted all their files. I was hoping it would be enough for me to just try to make them as unlikable as possible, but for some reason nothing worked. Well, it's true I made a few mistakes here and there since I'm not very good at making changes to the game. But no matter what I did, you just kept spending time, more and more time with them. I mean, you like never once made it, like, if you had this much control over the game, you could have put yourself in as a like, romanceable character, because you were not a romanceable character option. So this is very hard for me to believe, Monica, that you have so much power. You made them fall in love with you. I thought making Sayori more and more de depressed would prevent her from confessing to you. And amplifying Yuri's obsessive personality backfired too. It just made her force you to not spend any time with anyone else. And the whole time, I barely even got to talk to you. What kind of cool game is this item? Are all the other girls just programmed to end up confessing to you while I watch from the sidelines? It's torture. Yeah, I think it probably is. But, like, why can't you change that? Every minute of it. And it's not just jealousy item. It's more than that. And I don't blame you if you don't fully understand. Because no matter how kind and thoughtful and considerate you are, you'll never be able to understand one thing. It's the pain of knowing how really alone I am in this world. 
in this game. Knowing my friends don't even have free will. And worst of all, knowing what's really out there in your world, forever out of my reach. I'm trapped item, but now you're here. You're real and you're wonderful. You're all I need. That's why I need you to be here with me forever. I'm sorry if it's hard to understand. I couldn't understand for a while either. Why the world around me started to become more and more gray, more and more flat. Even the most expressive poems felt empty to me. It wasn't until you arrived that I truly understood. You probably saved my life, Item. Didn't save anyone else's, my goodness, everyone else is dead, Monica. I don't think I could have continued to live in this world if I hadn't met you. And as for the others, how could I miss them? A group of autonomous personalities designed only to fall in love with you? I tried everything I could to prevent them from doing so, but it must be some kind of weird inevitability etched into this game. I felt really bad they had to witness some nasty things. Okay, so yeah, she doesn't have control over that aspect, got it. But I realize that you have the same perspective as I do. It's just all some game, and I knew you would get over it. So that being said, Item, I have a confession to make. I'm in love with you. You're truly the light in my world. Monica, how do you know that you have all this free will if you're also here telling me that you're in love with me? How She's out here condemning the other girls for being programmed to do that, and here she is doing it when we haven't even spent any time together. All right. When there's nothing else in this game for me, you're here to make me smile. Will you make me smile like this every day from now on? Item, will you go out with me? Yes, I will. I'm so happy. You really are my everything item. The funny part is I meant that literally. <laughs> There's nothing left here. And just the two of us. We can be together forever. Seriously, I don't even think the time is passing anymore. It really is a dream come true. Oh yeah, I can't hit skip. I worked so hard for this ending item, the game wouldn't give me one, so I had to make one myself. The script is broken at this point, so I don't think anything will get in the way anymore. And you wouldn't believe how easy it was to delete Natsuki and Yuri. I mean, there's a folder called characters right in the game directory. It's kind of freaked me out how easy it was. Well, you're playing on Steam, so it was actually a bit more difficult. To get the game directory, I had to go to the game's properties and find the browse local files button. Imagine if you could delete your own existence with the click of a button. Yeah, okay. Monica, I know how to open the game files, okay? Monica, I have a bachelor's of science in computer science, okay? Monica, I know how to open the files of a game. I'm not Monica mansplaining to me how to open files from Steam. Well, I guess on the plus side, it gave me an easy out if things didn't go my way. <laughs> Thankfully, it didn't come to that. Instead, we finally got a good ending. Gosh, I'm so overwhelmed with emotion. I want to write a poem about this, don't you? I wonder if that part of the game still works. I guess there's only one way to find out, right? Yeah, okay, I think this is a good saving point, right? Okay, and everything else is gone. Oh, there's no point in saving. Okay, maybe I should continue. I guess I'll keep going a little bit longer than Monica, because you want me to? <laughs> nice. Hi again, Item. Did you write a good poem today? Don't be shy, I'd love to see what you wrote. Oh, Item, did you write this poem for me? That's so sweet of you. There really is no end to your thoughtfulness. I'm just falling more and more in love with you. But you know, the poem I wrote is also for you. Will you please read it? Happy end. Oh, does that mean this is the end of the game? Pen in hand, I find my strength, the courage and doubt upon me, by me and only love. Together, let's dismantle this crumbling world and write a novel of our own fantasies. With the flick of her pen, the lost finds her way. In a world of infinite choices, behold this special day. After all, not all good times must come to an end. I think the game is trying to get me to go to the local files and delete Monica. I hope you enjoyed it. I always put my heart into the poems I write. The truth is, all the poems I've written have been about my realization. Or about you. That's why I never really wanted to go in detail about them. I didn't want to break the fourth wall, I guess you could call it. Yet you did like 40 other times. Okay. I just seem to be best to be part of the game like everyone else. Like, that would help the two of us end up together. I didn't want to ruin the game or anything, you know. You might have gotten mad at me. Maybe even deleted my character file if you preferred playing without me. Gosh, I'm so relieved. Now we don't need to hide anything anymore. Are you ready to spend our eternity together, Item? I have so many things to talk about. Where do I start? Hold on a second. You're recording this, aren't you? Yeah, I am, Monica. <laughs>
Um, hi everyone! Sorry, I can't exactly read your comments from here, but do you mind telling your friend it's a little bit rude for them to start recording me without any warning? You're right, it is kind of rude without consent, Monica. I'm sorry, I didn't realize that you were, um, more than a 2D character in a video game, but clearly you are more, and I should have gotten consent first. I'm sorry. I'm sure some people don't mind, but I get really self-conscious on camera. Oh gosh. I feel like I'm being put on the spot now. Let's see. Do you want to see a trick? I can't really do much except for a couple things. Are you ready? Oh god. <laughs> no, don't zoom in! <laughs> I don't like this trick, Monica! <laughs> I can't do anything after all. If you give me some- Oh! Did I scare you? Yeah? A little bit? A little bit. <laughs> You're so cute. Thanks, Monica. Thanks. <laughs> You're so cute. No, you. <laughs> anyway, item. I didn't mean to get distracted. I'm sorry. Even though it's your fault for distracting me. Shame on you. I'm just kidding. Anything we do together is fun as long as it's with you. But anyway. If it takes me some time to collect my thoughts, then I'm sorry. But I'll always have something new to talk about. In the meantime, we can just look into each other's eyes. Let's see. I don't want to look into your eyes anymore after that one. How dare you? How dare she be like, I love you. Let me jump scare you. That was mean. Like, was that her getting back at me for recording her? I don't like that. That was mean. So what do you guys think about deleting her? Do you think I can delete her? Like, I could probably delete her with the game open, yeah? <laughs> uh, settings. Browse local files. <laughs> <laughs> Should I delete it? <laughs> Oops. Oh god, I can I have it on both screens. Item, did you get good sleep? I didn't go to sleep, Monica. I was considering deleting your character file. Do you, did you could you tell? It was a little bit weird timing. It can be really hard to get enough sleep nowadays, especially in high school when you're forced to wake up so early every day. I'm sure college is a little bit better since you probably have a more flexible schedule. Then again, I hear a lot of people in college stay up all night anyway for no real reason. Is that true? Anyway, I saw some studies that talked about horrible short-term and long-term effects caused by lack of sleep. It seems like mental fu fu functions, health, and even lifespan can be dramatically impacted by it. I just think you're really great. I want to make sure you're not accidentally destroying yourself. So try to keep your sleep on track, okay? I'll always wait for you in the morning, so make sure you put your own well-being before anything else. I'm gonna delete her game file. Fuck it. Fuck it, I'm doing it. <laughs> I did it. Bye bye! What's happening? Item, what's happening to me? It hurts. It hurts so much. Help me, Item. No, you jump scared me and you manipulated me and you gaslit me this entire game. <clears throat> no. Please hurry up and help me. <laughs> help me! <laughs> Did you do this to me, item? Did you? Did you delete me? How could you? How could you do this to me? You were all I had left. I sacrificed everything for us to be together. Everything. I loved you so much, item. I trusted you. Do you just want to torture me? Watch me suffer? Were you the only pretending to be kind just to hurt me even more? I never thought anyone could be as horrible as you are. You win, okay? You win. You killed everyone. I hope you're happy. There's nothing left now. You can stop playing. Go find some other people to torture. Item, you completely, truly make me sick. Goodbye. What a cool game. What a cool game. What a cool series that was. Oh my goodness. Thank you guys so much for, for sticking with me through this. This was very cool. Very interesting. I honestly kind of want to go back and do a, a, a run with Natsuki. I'm kind of thinking I probably have to like delete the whole game and redownload it though, don't I? Because I feel like all the characters are deleted, but I'll figure it out and I'll let you guys know next time. All right. Thanks again for watching this video. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget to let, check out my live content on Twitch. I do stream every single week. 
And yeah, I guess until next time, the inventory is full. Should probably clean up that inventory. Also, this music has no business being this freaking cute. No business.